Hey guys, Bobby Hughes here with the Heritage Pride Homestead. Back to bring you another uh, hydroponic rail system vlog update. I'm going to make this video super short. Um, basically, like I said in the other video, we switched our system from drippers over to the NFT. Um, it's been about uh, 11 days since the switchover. And uh, I just want to give you guys an update video. I actually, you're supposed to, according to the uh, general hydroponics uh, flora series uh, instructions, you're supposed to change your water out about every seven days. Uh, I let it go just a few days extra, and so I just did a clean out. I cleaned out the tank, um, scrubbed it down, emptied out all the water, flushed the rails, cleaned it out really well, replaced the water. We put 30 gallons of fresh water in there and uh, added our nutrients and I bumped up to the next stage in the floor series and once I've experienced and experimented with the floor series a little bit I'll do a video on the floor series on how to use it and um, bring you guys that information later uh, but anyway um, got all that done put the new bump to the next transition to the floor series and I added my seedlings did really well uh, or have, are doing really well uh, the ones that I brought that I had started for the uh, aquaponic system and so I decided to go ahead and put some more in the rails uh, and let them take off as well um, at this point the floor series is broken into like stages so stage one is is uh, the beginning stage two is like new growth stage three is late growth then transition and then you get into the blooming and harvest ripening and harvesting phases and so on and so forth so what I'm doing is I haven't really moved to the next level. I just um, found a medium between early growth and late growth and that's what I'm doing right now because I've got some late growth stuff in and I've got some seedlings that I'm putting in now uh, as well. So I want to pick it up. The difference in nutrient isn't really that much. I don't think it's going to, it's not going to hurt the big ones and it's not going to hurt the little ones. So. Um, the big ones may slow down just a little bit, but that's okay. It'll give the other ones time to kind of catch up. If I get the aquaponic system done in time, I may go ahead and switch over the, the, the tomato plants and things that I had started for the aquaponics. I may go ahead and switch those over uh, to the grow beds just so that there's more room, more surface area for those to grow in. And then uh, I might just use the NFT system uh, just strictly for starting seedlings uh, it's working really good so um, we still got good strawberries going and those are actually starting to run so they're starting to send out shoots which is good um, so that means it's working it just took time to transition I guess so anyway it's going good I'm gonna grab the camera and show you guys the update I uh, probably won't jump back on in front like I usually do and tell you guys to check out the videos and all that stuff so I'll go ahead and do it now so um, when the video is over, don't forget to uh, check out the suggested playlist. And also, uh, please consider supporting the Heritage Pride Homestead. Uh, it helps us keep bringing you fresh videos and new content. And uh, it helps fund some of the things that, um, that you might want to do at home. And it's, you know, educational. So uh, whether it's good education or bad education, that always said uh, a wise man learns, uh, or a smart man learns from his mistakes, a wise man learns from the mistakes of others. So be wise and support the, support the homestead. So anyway, uh, also if you're not subscribed, uh, go ahead and click on the little link right here. It'll take you to our channel. You can check out the other videos. We've got everything from uh, hydroponics to aquaponics to homesteading and, and chicken raising and, and gunsmithing and, you know, you guys have been around, you probably want me to shut up and move on and show you the NFT system. So anyway, uh, if this is the first vlog you've seen, go back, check out the suggested playlist, and you'll see the, uh, uh, the whole series playlist on there. So anyway, I'm going to quit beating around the bush now and show you guys the, uh, the rail system. All right, guys, so it's getting dark, and it's about to come a monstrous thunderstorm. So I'm going to make this real quick. I'm basically just going to do a real quick pan through. Um, down here on this end, these are those squash. They were uh, about that size um, 10 days ago. Now they look like that. So they're doing, doing really well. Um, the strawberries back here, doing pretty good. You can see the shoots on them, shooting out there. Um, I've lost a couple more in the process of everything, but I've, the ones that are still here are pretty healthy. 
um, so far, except for that, those two guys. They're not very healthy. Um, so here's some peppers, peppers, peppers. Not sure what they are, but I know they're peppers. Um, not sure what most of this stuff up here is. That's Brussels sprouts, I think, or eggplant, maybe. Um, so anyway, these are the little guys I just put in today that were in the seed starter. There's a tomato that I put in uh, that looked like that when I first put it in. Now it looks like this. So that's cool. Um, not sure what that is. I think that's actually cabbage. No, that's cabbage. Uh, that might be eggplant too. I'm not sure. And then there's something there. Anyway, I'm not really sure what happened. That's a pepper plant, I think. But anyway, I just want to show you guys this stuff's doing awesome. These are, that's something, I think that's a green bean that was uh, out front that didn't make it into the, uh, the rows. It kind of was a stray seed. So I tossed it in here. I pulled it up and tossed it in here just to see how it would do. Then you got some cucumbers going down here, little mini cucumbers. So for pickling. So anyway, guys, yeah, that's the rail system. Just wanted to give you guys the update. So far, I am loving, loving, loving the NFT over the dripper system. Um, I can basically, this thing's on autopilot. I don't even come out here and really check anything. Um, I just check the water level every now and then, make sure it's not too low. And if I need to top it up, I add it. I think during those 10 days, I topped it up one time. I added about five gallons of plain rainwater to the system. Uh, one thing that I did this go around, um, I'm running short on rainwater because sneak peek, I've been working on the aquaponics system. So I've got the tank cycling now, um, but you can't see any more than that. I'm still working on it. So anyway, uh, I used a bunch of my rainwater on that. And so I'm actually using filtered city water or tap water. Um, so I'm curious to see how it works in this. Um, see if we have any big changes or anything. So anyway, speaking of rainwater, it is starting to rain. So I'm going to go ahead and get off of this thing and head inside. So anyway, guys, uh, that's the update. And I'll be back for more on the aquaponic system here pretty soon. So anyway, guys, get, until next time, get out there, shoot some guns, be safe, and most importantly, have fun. See you guys later.